Hello, I am Seema and welcome to my chemistry videos. The topic of this video is the dual behavior of matter. We have been studying the structure of atom and we did the Bohr's model of an atom and its drawbacks. And now to move to the quantum mechanical model, we need to take two more steps. That is the dual behavior of matter and the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. We'll be doing this in these coming videos now. Now for this and the next video, I plan to explain the dual behavior of matter to you. In 1924, a French scientist, Louis de Broglier, he said that just as electromagnetic radiations have dual nature, matter also has dual nature, that is both particle-like and wave-like nature. And just as there is a relationship between the momentum of uh, the electromagnetic radiation and the wavelength, in the same way, there is a relationship between the momentum and the wavelength of matter too. And it is given by the formula lambda is equal to h over mv, where lambda is the wavelength, h is the Planck's constant, whose value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second, and the momentum p is equal to the mass into the velocity. Now, what was the reason that scientists till now or till 1924 could not identify the wave nature of uh, these particles? Why could we not see the wave nature, although we had now known it was clearly established that electromagnetic radiations have wave nature? The reason for that can be explained in this formula itself. Do you see that the mass is in the denominator? Usually macroscopic objects have very large masses and the mass is very large therefore the wavelength is extremely small and if the wavelength is extreme and the Planck's constant has a value of 10 to the power minus 34 which is itself is very very small. So the wavelength that is calculated if the mass is large would be so small that it would not be possible to see it or to identify it. And that's the reason why the wave nature of matter was hidden from scientists for a very long time. Now I have chosen these three questions and these numericals when we solve them it makes it clear why the wave nature of matter could not be identified because of their large masses and due to the very small wavelengths. So in this video, I'll solve the first numerical problem and in the next video, we'll solve the next two numerical problems and we'll compare the wavelengths obtained in the three questions. So let us solve the first question. What will be the wavelength of a ball of mass 0.1 kg moving with a velocity of 10 meters per second? So we're doing solution one now. There is a ball you have to calculate the wavelength of a ball whose mass is given and velocity is given to us. Wavelength is equal to h over mv, where h is the Planck's constant, which is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. Now, I would not like to use joule second because I would like to cancel out the units to uh, make sure that the values that I have plugged in are right. So instead of using joule second, one joule is equal to kg meter square second to the power of minus two. So we we'll use this unit instead. So it would be kg meter square second to the power minus two second. So second one and minus two, that is plus one and minus two would become minus one. So we could do this, just simplifying it a little here. And this would be divided by mass, the mass is given to us, 0.1 kg into the velocity that is 10 meters per second. Meters and meter, one meter is gone here. Second inverse, second inverse is gone here. Kg and kg is gone here. So we are left with just one meter here. So that's right. If you're getting the right units it means you've plugged in the correct values so the answer when you calculate this 0 0.1 into 10 is 1 therefore the answer you get is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 meters is the wavelength now minus 34 is very very small and since it's 
it's very small if you see the ball here the ball has a mass which is which is 0.1 kg which is very large due to which the wavelength is extremely small and therefore we cannot identify the wave like nature it is negligible therefore we cannot notice the the wave like nature of a ball and it appears to be just a particle to us now for record record i would like to just write down this answer here so that we can compare all three answers in the end this would be 6. Point, or let me just put the solutions here solution 1 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 meters is the first answer so now in the next video i'll solve the other two problems and then we'll compare all the three solutions and explain the reason why the dual nature of matter was not visible to scientists thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and like my videos and keep returning for more videos on chemistry thank you